Uh, Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Basha, Yahweh Basha, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great Melstone, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the spell bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7, and it reads, And when ye shall hear of uh, wars and rumors of wars, be ye not trouble for such things must need be, but the end is not yet. Luke 21 and 9, through verse 11, and it reads, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet by and by. Then say unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. In a great earthquake shall there be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great shine shall there be from heaven. Similar precept, Matthew 24 and 6 to uh, verse 6 to verse 7. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And for nations shall rise against nation, and the kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. <coughs> Uh, Jeremiah 51 and uh, 46. And least you heart faint and fear for and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come one year and after uh, that another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler uh, Shalom once again first and foremost I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai B'Hashem Karkadash double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone preaching his word truthfully and sincerely and Shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird preaching the word truthfully and sincerely and Shalom to the Akim brethren out there on this uh, Shabbat and uh oh it's locked here so yeah this was a slip down lesson that I'm about to do for in the news on uh, November the 1st 2022 uh 4.07pm central standard time on this uh, Tuesday afternoon and so like you, I think I had to go to a different news article because this one you had to pay a subscription so I'm gonna bring the news article uh, back up in regards to uh, Russia uh, sending uh, hypersonic missiles to Belarus, I believe. And I'm gonna look it up, <clears throat> and I'm gonna bring out the article since I bring I brought out the scriptures already uh, for this uh, lesson in the news. Bear with me just a sec. It's a lot of for that. And this is a news article from the Daily Beast. Uh, it was published by Shannon Barra of National Security Reporter. Uh, updated November 1st, 2022 at 4.51 p.m. Eastern Time. And it was published on November 1st, 2022 at 2.24 p.m. Eastern Time. And the highlight of this news article, it reads from the dailybeast.com 
and it says Putin Barrage New Missile Nightmare and Latest Warning to the West. Yeah, they're sending that warning to uh, Western countries. As he, you know, previously sent warnings to them as well, too. And it says, uh, uh, Russia has deployed missiles to Belarus in what is likely a desperate attempt to intimidate the West while its forces floundering in Ukraine, according to a new intelligence report. I believe like day before yesterday at that huge uh, barrage of missiles that uh, Russia did to Ukraine and uh, I forgot what region it was in, but yeah. I guess that's a res response to that. After, uh, uh, I believe like two weeks ago, after Russia had deployed it, about like uh, 1,500 troops to Belarus, because you know uh, the president Belarus and president uh, of Russia, Vladimir Putin, you know, both countries are allies to go against Ukraine and NATO allies and the United States and Western countries that fully support Ukraine, you know, because you still got the Russia-Ukraine war still going on because Russia look at it as a, as a uh, special operation in Ukraine, you know. So I had to add a, added a note to that. And I'm going to read it again for edification's sake of the sit-down lesson. Russia has deployed missiles to Valerius and what it's like to des desperate attempt to intimidate the West while its forces floundering in Ukraine, according to a new uh, intelligence report. Satellite in images uh, shared by British intelligence show that what is likely to MIG uh, 31K Foxhound interceptor jets stationed at Belarus Makotashi's airfield on October 17th, according to the uh, UK Minister of Defense, located near the jets is a large canister uh, which the Minister of Defense assets is likely for the AS-24 Killjoy air launch ballistic missile. It says the Killjoy missiles are launched from a high-speed aircraft to go after their targets. Russia claims that the missiles also known as Kinza or dagger missiles can carry conventional or nuclear warheads and are hypersonic since they are reported to travel over five times the speed of sound it says ukraine's current air defense can't detect and destroy them according to a armor sack which could rise raise alarm about whether russia intends to use Valerius as a staging ground for an assault and I believe I forgot what country it was that sent a warning to uh, Russia I believe it was the UK and the UK was saying that uh they're gonna use any means necessary uh, uh, increased warning to Russia if they uh, increasing their nuclear defense against Ukraine and uh, Britain sent a warning to U Ukraine. I mean, Britain sent a uh, warning to Russia, and I believe that was about two days ago. I had did a video lesson on that in regards to that. And it says Russia, I mean, Ukraine's current air defense can't detach and destroy them, according to the Home Sack, which could raise alarm about whether Russia intends to use Belarus as a staging ground for an assault on Ukraine in a repeat of tactical. Because uh, I believe uh, about a couple of days ago, the United States has uh, issued and made an announcement about like uh, 265 million in military aid for Ukraine. So, so that does make sense on Russia end to send more warning sing single signals to the West, you know, because you got Ukraine, 
is allies with NATO and Western countries as well too, along with the United States. So yeah, it does make make sense. It says uh, any repeat or a tactical Russia used early in the war. Uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin has lain on Belarus Al uh, leader Alexander Lukashenko since the early days of the invasion this year to prepare for attacks on Ukraine, including the failed offense on Kyiv. But Russia might be conducting deployment to signal a. Uh, but Russia might be conducting the deployment to send a signal to the West and pull Belarus further into the war, rather than preparing an actual plot to unleash the attack on Ukraine, according to British intelligence. The latest defense intelligence updated the situation in Ukraine and Great Britain, which they stand with Ukraine and and you know, as I just mentioned before that, you know, uh, Britain uh, sent a warning to Russia that if you're going to continue to send uh, or uh, potentially aim nuclear capabilities against Ukraine and you know, Great Britain it sent that warning to uh, Russia, you know. Now you got uh, President uh, Vladimir Putin sending that message to the West of the deployment of the military troops, of Russian troops to Belarus. Now they are uh, deploying uh, uh, hypersonic ballistic missiles to Belarus as well too, you know. And now you get uh, Belarus potentially getting uh, involved into the war, you know. It says, uh, and it says it has likely carried out the deployment mainly to message to the West and to portray Belarus as an increasingly complex, complex seat in the war. The Minister of Defense uh, said, basing the killjoy in Belarus give Russia a little added advantage in terms of striking additional targets within Ukraine. If the if the move was all for show, it would fit a pattern for Belarus. The deployment com deployment comes weeks after Russia and Belarus embarked on a joint group, and deployment of troops in Belarus is what could appear to be preparing for mobilization against Ukraine and other nations. But, but some U.S. officials and diplomats have said that the group is likely to pull a new Ukraine forces into diverting resources to defend against a possible incursion from the north rather than focus on the south where uh, Ukraine is making against I mean making gains uh, against Russian forces efforts to pull Ukraine forces away from their winning tactics in the south and in the east might be a last ditch effort from Russia to try to gain momentum amending a series of crushing losses on the battlefield. Russia is currently has green logistics and currently not able to stage an offense operation and is only capable of defense operations according to a British intelligence assessment uh, released last week. So yeah, these rumors of wars are definitely heating up between the nations and different kingdoms as well too as I bring out all those scriptures right now in reference to this news article and I'll bring out the uh, book of Ezekiel as well too and then I'm going to close out the lesson. Ezekiel the 38th chapter. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal prophesy against him. 
and saying, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thy uh, horsemen and horses and horsemen, all of them cloaked with all sorts of armor, even a great company of buckles and shields, and all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, with them all of them with shields and helmets. Ezekiel 38 and 6, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomer, and the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Ezekiel 38 and 7, Be thou prepared, and prepare thyself, thou and all thy companies that are assembled unto thee, and be thou guard unto them, right? You know, because the Heavenly Father is, you know, even though the Heavenly Father is prophesying against Gog and Magog, which is the modern-day Russians, and these other nations, they're going to get involved in it as well, too. Like uh, Ethiopia, Turkey, Libya, you know, because Persia is the modern-day Iranians. Ethiopia is modern-day Kush. Libya is the modern-day Ishmaelites. And Gomer is the modern-day Turkish. But far as... Russia's concerned right now at the moment you know the Heavenly Father is putting that warlike spirit back into these Russians because Russia represents the bear in the book of Ezekiel and the land of Gog and Magog which is the modern day Russians today from ancient times all the way into now so you know Yahweh Bashem al is putting that USSR spirit back into these Russians you know and that's what we're seeing you know as Russia sent uh, more uh, war, warlike warning messages to the nations, which is the Western countries and NATO as well, too. As, uh, you know, Ukraine continues to get assistance from the Western countries, uh, NATO, and uh, the United States as well, too. So these nations are definitely heating up against one another, you know. And it's going to continue to heat up more and more and more. And these rumors of wars are heating up by the day as we see these things in the news, as we do sit down lessons in regards to these uh, nations and different kingdoms rising up against one another, you know, and it's heating up, you know. You have nations fighting over territories, nations are fighting over economics, nations fighting over many different type of issues, you know. It's just sometimes it's not like directly towards the war. It could be economics wars of fighting over territories or many other different efforts as well too. And that's what we're seeing. You know, these rumors of wars heating up. Nations against nations and kingdom against kings. Uh, nations against nations and kingdom against kingdoms. And kingdoms, I meant to say, slack and slip of the tongue. And the commotions of wars, proxy wars, operational type wars, financial type wars, all these things are definitely heating up by the day, you know. As I point out, uh, Ezekiel 38th chapter, first verse all the way through the seventh verse, you know, hey, you know, you have Bashim al Shai prophesying against him, uh, Gog and Magog and Meshach and Tubal, you know. And he putting that, that warlike type back into those Russians, you know. And that's what we're seeing, you know. Uh, so with that, uh, I just wanted to bring out this uh, news article. And I brought out the scriptures to back it up. So, Lord willing, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the Hawaii Yahusha. And uh, first and foremost... I'd like to give all uh, praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Akakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say uh, Shabbat Shalom and a Ba'ababa.